Once upon a time in the land of Enchantia, there was a king. Well, you know about the king. He was a good king, a kind king, and everyone in Enchantia loved him. Well, one of the rules of the castle was that if anyone needed help, then the castle would help them. They would share anything they had and give anything they needed. In fact, the castle had seven special little helpers. There was Silly and Hoppy, and Lucky and Klutzy, and Wiggly and Giggly, and, unfortunately, Stinky. And then, one day, the castle doorbell rang. Um, uh, hello? Well, hello. My name is Ivory, and I believe I've gotten terribly lost, and, well, I could really use some help. <laughs> Help was just what these seven helpers did best. They brought Ivory into the castle and began to share everything the castle had to offer. Look at this comfy chair. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so nice. Oh, and a blanket to keep me warm. Oh, and I love this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, this is like a, a five-star service right here. You guys are so nice. I, I didn't catch your names, though. <sighs> Again, Silly and Hoppy and Lucky and Klutzy and Wiggly and Giggly and, unfortunately, Stinky. Well, it's very nice to meet all of you. <laughs> um, all of you are just so kind to help me like this. And, well, to share all of your beautiful everything. I mean, you've shared your beautiful castle, your, your delicious food, and oh, don't forget about your blankets. And I just feel so loved and taken care of. High five. <laughs> and that's what these special helpers did best. Oh, well, uh, thank you, uh, Flopsy and, and Mopsy and... Topsy and Sticky? Really? Silly, hoppy, lucky, klutzy, wiggly, giggly, unfortunately stinky. Oh, right. Uh, isn't that what I said? Anyway, and if there were any old scary ladies trying to get Ivory to eat a bad apple... Oh, I love apples! <laughs> oh! These special helpers knew just oh. what to do. Oh, well, I'm sure glad I had all of those special helpers looking out for me. Well, I definitely would have eaten that apple, and I don't think that lady was very trustworthy. <laughs> well, now that I'm fed and warm and rested, I'm ready to go on my way. <laughs> Bye, kids! This story was just a fairy tale, but in the true story of the Bible, we see some helpers just like these who shared with everyone in need. We can be those helpers, too. Well... I don't want to give away the story. Thanks for visiting Enchantia. Come back anytime. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Janelle, and I get to tell you today's story. It comes from this book. What's this book called? The Bible. The Bible, that's right. And if it's in the Bible, then we know it's true. true. Our true story today can be found in the book of Acts, chapter 2. Can you say that with me? Acts, chapter 2. Good job. Earlier this month, we celebrated Easter. What's the real reason we celebrate Easter? Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive! And that is some big news. Jesus died on the cross for all of the bad choices that we made and that we will make. And he did that because he loves us. He wants to be our friend forever. Jesus died, but did he stay dead? Nope, Jesus came alive again. You see, Jesus wanted everyone to know the big news that he is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. So he sent his friends, the disciples from town to town to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. Let's help them out. So they went over here to this town. Jesus is alive. And then they went over here to this town. Let's knock again. Knock, knock, knock. Jesus is alive. Then they went over here to this town, knock, and what did they tell him? Jesus is alive. And then they went to another town. And what did they say? Jesus is alive. That's right. You see, the disciples just kept telling everyone they met and everyone in the new town the big news, that Jesus is alive. From town to town they went, telling people that Jesus is alive and that he wants to be their friend forever. They became one church, the very first church. 
The very first church wasn't an actual building like the one that we're in. The first church was made up of people. They shared everything they had with each other, often at their homes. Let's think of some things that they probably shared. Oh, sorry, that was my stomach. I guess I'm a little hungry. What do I need? Yes, I need some food. Let's walk over here to this house. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why, hello there. Well, hi. Would you happen to have any food that you could share with me? I'm pretty hungry. Oh, why, I just happen to have this freshly baked bread right here. Ooh. Yes, fresh out of the oven, and it's my grandma's secret recipe. Ooh -hoo. Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, yes. Oh, and I have something else that's very important I need to share with you. Okay. Did you know that Jesus is alive and that he wants to be your best friend forever? Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing your bread and especially for sharing the good news that Jesus wants to be my friend. That was so nice of him to share with me. That's what it was like in the early church, too. I wonder what else they might have shared. <laughs> Blustery today, isn't it? Oh, my goodness, you look cold. What do you think he needs? Yes, he definitely needs some clothes and a jacket. Oh, I think I have one for you. Here you go. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. And remember that Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend forever. Oh, I've never owned a Bible before. Oh, th thank you so much. You were loving and kind, just like Jesus. And that's what it was like in the early church. They shared everything, food, clothing, housing. But the most important thing that they shared was Jesus. Jesus. He is the most important thing that we can share with others. But it's important that we first meet people's immediate needs, like food and water, and then they're ready to hear about our best friend, Jesus. And even though we can't see him in front of us, we know that he's alive in heaven and that he will come back for us soon. Who is alive? Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. Let's bow our heads so we can pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us and thank you for the big news that Jesus is alive. Help us to go and tell others that Jesus is alive and that he wants to be our best friend forever. We love you and all God's children said, Amen. Amen. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.